we ready? Is everybody ready to go to church today? Okay then. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of We Walk With The Word. My name is just Kara ZA and in today's video we are going to be talking about the revelation of forgiveness. video we talked about what is salvation how to get salvation and how to fully enjoy salvation right so i'm still reading uh joseph prince book joseph prince book called destined to reign and i came across a chapter that read the revelation of forgiveness so i was like okay this kind of correlates with what we're talking about because as we know salvation is based on the forgiveness of our sins right so i paraphrased uh the whole chapter so yeah let's get into it y'all so I wrote here, to be forgiven means to be forgiven of your sins. When Christ died on the cross, he died for our sins. Sin is what kept us from knowing and having a real relationship with God because as we know, God and sin do not mix. Lightness and darkness cannot correlate, right? And then I went on to say, the more you realize that you are eternally forgiven, the more you will draw near to God. Forgiveness does not lead to a lifestyle of sin, but rather it leads to a life of glorifying the Lord Jesus. So I have a scripture here. What shall we say to all of this? Should we continue in sin and practice sin as a habit so that grace may increase and overflow? Certainly not. How can we, the very ones who died to sin, continue to live in it any longer? Or are you ignorant of the fact that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We have therefore been buried with him through baptism into death so that as Christ... So that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory and power of the Father, we too might walk habitually in the newness of life, right? And then we're going to look at Romans 6 verse 10 which says, um, For the death that he died, he died to sin once and for all. And the life that he lives, he lives to God. Even so, consider yourself to be dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body so that you obey its lust and passions. So like I just said that it does not lead to a lifestyle of sin, but rather it leads to a life that glorifies our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Saying that you're born again, but living a lifestyle that does not in any way glorify our Lord and Savior still shows that you don't understand what it truly means to be forgiven. It's like taking a shower and then going outside to roll in the dirt again. Like it just does not make any sense, right? And I've seen people and I've heard people say that they are forgiven, but then you know their lives are just a completely i don't know they tell a different story right and i i sometimes see that it stems from people not understanding what it means to be forgiven like they do something wrong and they feel like oh god hates me god is judging me like my life is not going the way it should be because i'm not praying i'm not going to church I'm not spending time with the children of God and yes sometimes that might be it like you might be lacking spiritually but you need to understand that God does not in any way turn his back against you God does not in any way judge you or condemn you God does not in any way punish you with sicknesses and like you know making you not get a job or just making your life miserable he does not in any way do that so once you're forgiven you understand like oh my gosh okay i did something wrong but you know what god is my father he loves me he adores me he is pleased with me and he just wants to have a relationship with me so even though i've made a mistake and i've fallen short it's imp it is important that you know i see my mistakes and therefore i pray about it and be like okay god i saw that i did something wrong i don't want to do it again so you know help me better you know better do what is English? I don't know English. So help me to better, help me to do the right thing next time. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say. So that's why it's important to always be forgiveness conscious in every single thing that you do, in every wrong thing that you understand that you are eternally forgiven and therefore do not condemn yourself. And that's why it's very important also to spend time with the word of God, you guys. Like I feel like if we don't spend time with the word of God, we are prey to like circumstances, to situations, to temptations, to all of these other things that are wrong, we become prey to them because we are spiritually weak. So if somebody comes through and they're like, oh, I don't know, just they, they do something to kind of tempt us, we are like quick to follow through because we are not strong spiritually you know what i mean so it's very important to be strong spiritually it's very important to spend time in the word of god the only thing that god gave us was his word you know what i mean and if you don't spend time in it and if you don't you know spend time to understand it and truly dive into it then you'll never know who god is you'll never understand him you will never have a relationship with him like yes we get tempted yes we got we get drawn into certain things but if you are spiritually strong if you're spiritually healthy if you are forgiveness conscious if god is the one occupying your mind right now then you know that okay I am tempted to do something wrong right now, but I know that, you know what, this is that this will not in any way please God. Therefore, I'm not going to do it. Like, my mom always uses this um, example. She's like, if you know that I don't like something, like, for instance, it could be like she doesn't want her mug sitting at, at, at a certain place. Like, she'll correct me once, and the next time I know that, okay, mama does not want 
this to be like to be here so rather i should put it in the right place to avoid like arguments with our parents you know what i mean so that's how you should think of it and that's because god is our father you know what i mean you have to treat him as a parent he's not like a foreign god he's not like a foreign concept he's not like a you know a king that cannot be approached like thank god to jesus that we are able to have that relate that close relationship to god that you can pray to him at any time and trust that he will do what you asked him to do you know what i mean you can trust him you can talk to him at any time you can spend time in the word of god you can pray as much as you want there is no stopping to it you know what i mean so once you understand that oh god is my father god is pleased i am trying to i know that this does not make him happy in any way and i know that it will not make me happy either because sin does not make you happy you know what i mean it might do for a period of time but at the end of the day it'll never give you eternal joy and satisfaction it's just for it's just momentarily you know what i mean so once you understand like oh this does not make my father happy i'm not gonna do it brother i'm gonna pray about it. i'm gonna speak i'm gonna practice things that make him happy you know what i mean so i wrote here let's see the scripture that i wrote is romans of five therefore since we have been justified that is acquitted acquitted of sin declared blameless before god by faith let us grasp the fact that we have peace with god and the joy of reconciliation with him through our lord jesus christ the messiah the anointed so i'm reading the um, amplified version but yes once you understand that we now have a peace with god the joy of reconciliation with him through jesus christ and that we have been declared blameless before god like understand that you are blameless in front of god no matter what you do you are declared blameless in the face of god in the eyes of god so like i've seen people say oh i'm forgiven god has forgiven my sins past past present and future sins right like he has forgiven my past she cannot talk so i might as well just continue doing them because god knows that i'm going to do it anyway so i might as well do it right but that is dumb that is a dumb mentality to have because like the like roman 6 said like how can you continue in sin knowing that you are dead to sin so again that should be in your subconscious that you are dead to sin you are no longer part of sin you no longer engaged to you no longer engage with a sin you and sin are two separate entities you now operate in life you are now born again with the life of christ so therefore you do not do things that are sinful you know what i mean so that is where it's your ment your your mentality needs to play around you know what i mean so that's why i feel like um the moral of this chapter what i've gained from this chapter and what why i felt the need to talk to you guys is that it's important to be forgiveness conscious it's important to not condemn yourself it's important to understand that god will never turn his back away from you right and so my last point here i wrote that godliness stems from the revelation of forgiveness right and we're going to look at philippians 4 verse 4 rejoice in the lord always that means to delight and take pleasure in him again i will say rejoice let your gentle spirit your graciousness and selfishness mercy tolerance and patience be known to all the people the lord is near do not be anxious or worried about anything but in everything in every circumstance and in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving continue to make your specific request requests known to god we know that things such as unselfishness are not character traits that people merely have you can only have it through christ because like in this world they say it's a dog eat dog eat world right that's what they say so it's important that you understand that graciousness unselfishness mercy tolerance and patience are the fruits of the spirit and that is what godliness is about and you can only walk um you can only walk according to these things if you truly understand what it truly means to be forgiven you understand that i am forgiven god has forgiven me therefore there is no need for me to be selfish i serve a gracious god therefore i need to be gracious you know what i mean i serve a merciful god therefore i need to be merciful i serve a patient god therefore i'm a practice patient with other people patience with other people you know graciousness tolerance i'm gonna try to be more tolerating to people like we know people are annoying but hey god is tolerant with me he is happy with me he loves me therefore that is what i am going to project to the other people because that is the character of god he's a loving god you know what i mean so that is what you then tend to project outside to the outside world to the people that are not saved and you know that we're trying to get saved basically and yes you guys i feel like that is my understanding of the revelation of forgiveness and i truly hope that you guys also get got a better understanding of what it truly means to be forgiven and if you have been slacking in your faith or if you've been feeling like away from god now is the perfect time to spend time in the word of god to pray 
to God. You know what I mean? That is the only way you can have a solid, clear relationship with God is that if you spend time in his word and if you pray to him, because that is when you will hear him. That is where you'll bask in the knowledge and the revelation of who he is and who he has called you to be. So I truly hope that I was able to help you guys if you guys were in the dark or didn't understand certain things. And if you still don't understand certain things, make sure to comment down below and I'll make sure definitely at the time, okay? I'll answer you and we will have a discussion. So if you want to add something, don't be afraid to comment down below. We are here to help each other. We are here to grow in the word of God. I'm not a know-it-all. I'm just sharing what what I know and I and I'm very glad that I'm able to do that with you guys. So I would really appreciate if you guys would share what you know too and let's just grow and help each other and just draw more people into the kingdom of God and just you know let light rain. You know what I mean? That is the ultimate goal. So yes, um I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I love you guys so so much. Stay blessed in the word of God. Spend time in the word of God. God loves you. He's here for you. He wants to have a real relationship with you so don't ever let anything you know throw you off your game or judge you or condemn you or tell you anything that is not true about god like always stay sane always stay in prayer always stay in the word of god and yeah i'll see you guys next time with another video bye god bless you i love you bye i never know how to end those video videos but yeah bye